Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming, and welcome back for another video of Languister M. Today's video, we're going to take a look at week three's uh, like weekly update of our current major update that just arrived uh, today. Let's see what we got in store in the events. So first off, we got the Fantasy uh, Theater Fiesta. This is basically um, this is basically a Sizzy's, uh, you know, the the free bazaar event, kind of like that, but in a Shining Resonance uh, version, which is kind of clever idea, like a clever name for this, because you know we're still in the Shining Resonance collab major update after all. So yeah, uh, the rules apply the same as free bazaar. So like Eva's free bazaar, I mean, yeah. So anyways, the rules are basically the same. You just choose whichever item you need, you like for for the pack, and then you can buy it at once you configured everything here. And each of these are priced differently depending on which one you you selected. There's also this here. I think that's the that's for the special costume. I I'm uncertain what it was, but anyways, we'll we'll, we'll see when when we look in the store because this is I haven't seen this thing for quite some time. I know this exists, but I'm just not sure what skin is it for. But I do hear that there are some skins in the past have returned, but most likely they are from uh, like the Anarchy skins, I believe. Okay, so anyways, moving on. We got the U.S. Legends Destiny Summon for... Or should I say Destiny Banner for this week. So this week it's going to have Shelfaniel, uh, Sage of the Trees, and Wheeler. I haven't seen Sage for quite some time now, and he is back in a Destiny banner. So if you're missing him still in your team, you, you could get him because he's a guarantee for you. If he's the only one missing, but if you're missing like two or more, then you, you're you going to get someone new out of this. That's Anyways, uh, that's a good part of Destiny banner. So anyways, if you're actually missing any of these, like, uh, I mean, everyone should be able to get Shelfaniel from the faction buff uh, bag if you have not selected that yet. Uh, you could, Wheeler, Wheeler is, is a good unit still because of the, like, healing before battle. And also Sage of the Trees, when he dies, he, he, he clears out most of the debuffs from, from your team and then, and then, Apply the tiles around, uh, around his, uh, around where he died, into like the place where the cavalry and flyer have a rough time going through that. Kind of like McLean style, but a little different. And we also have the uh, that we also had a daily quest changed. So, so now um, if you guys remember last time, uh, we, we got Trinity voucher in a replacement as uh, Trinity crystals. So, anyways, right now, starting from this week until the end of uh, until the end of the next week, I mean, uh, until the end of the uh, until the end of the like the weekly update. I mean, it's it's gonna it's all our daily mission rewards, like the daily mission reward completion. You'll get one Trinity voucher each day now, instead of the usual thirty Trinity crystals. That's a good change. For, for one week, so if you're actually in a need of like twenty vouchers, I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, this is a this is a good opportunity for you to get twenty vouchers because you're now gonna get get a guaranteed twenty voucher per week. Uh, I mean per per day. My God, why am I keep saying that? My God. <clears throat> and then finally, we also have the the Languister four and five uh wish banner. So. If you're missing any of these characters within this uh these entries, Language Server 4 and Language Server 5, this banner is excellent for you to catch up. Last week we got a Language Server 1, 2, and 3. This time we got Language Server 4 and 5. And this has been a regular rerun because, you know, they standardized the uh, like the Ostone summon for for different past entries. So for this instance, like uh, previously we only got Language Server 1, 2, and 3. Now we got the 4 and 5. Um this week. So this is normal, and I think it will be this. It will be like this for the rest of the game cycle, as far as the game goes. And let's let's take a look at the stores. I've heard there are skins, a bunch of them returning. So let's take a look. 
So yeah, they're not here, but they're in a different menu here. So this is where you use those tokens. So we got a returning of Rosenseal's uh, Anarchy skin as well as the others. Uh, we also have Cortez skin coming back. Uh, Emperor Lovina, uh, Werner. We also have Autocrito the Fourth, King of the Red Moon, Saintess of the Ark, Elma, uh, the Transcender, Patsier, Evil God Kruger, Vincent, and Iron Blood Commander. So like if you actually like those skins, but you you if you end up not getting those the first time they're they're around, uh, this is a good opportunity to get them if you like. I mean of course they do not affect your unit stats. So if you just want to be flashy, then go right ahead. The choice is yours. And speaking of uh, premiums, premium, let's take a look at the gift packs and see what has been added to here. Uh, daily stamina replenishment. And this one basically gives you the necessary needs when it comes to stamina, like uh, sweep clearances, uh, some some burgers, and also some gold for whatever you need for three bucks. Good deal. Not gonna lie, because three bucks doesn't doesn't sound a lot, but it you do get a lot of things out of this. We also have the awakening chest. So if you're still behind on awakening or whatever, uh, that this that this pack is is somewhat okay. But it, anyways, you you do get a lot of out out of this. So you get some training crystals as well as some materials you need for for your awakening. For ten bucks, can be bought two times. <clears throat> and that's roughly it. There's not many packs we can look into here. So just those two packs available for this week. So yeah, and also speaking of gift packs, so. In case you guys haven't played uh, like the, the Chinese version of Languister, there is a hero bag that is, uh, I mean, nowadays the hero bag, when they in reintroduced it to the store, they always pack them with the the heroes, the original characters, like, you know, the characters that are not the collab, actually. Like, they now they, they include the, the latest one. Not, what I mean the latest one is that, excluding the current update, though, it cur it, it includes the, the units that were released before the current uh, set of new heroes come on board. So for this instance, the, the pack that we see in Chinese version right now is it's going to have all the heroes all the way up to uh, Roland and Presia. So yeah, I, I, that's really crazy to me because previously they, they, they limit the, the unit choices, but now they are they're expanding it onto the point where all the other heroes that you have not got previously are on there. Which is insane. And speaking of what's insane is that if you have not watched the Future Languister installment for August, let me do a little recap of what those units uh, were. So, uh, Apotheosis is the is the Wathen 2.0 that will be on the singular banner. Will be on the singular banner that, that looks like a... That's basically had the same rules as Awaken 1 and Waytham. So yeah, you're gonna get a lot of op banners on there, but even even if you do, you do get those, those shards as a compensation. But if you manage to get, uh, if you manage to get a, a, Apotheosis, that is that is great, because Apotheosis by far is probably the most busted one. I Even though Waytham might be busted already, but anyways, Apotheosis is the next level of being busted. And then uh, for for Captain Mac or Jack, depending on what how you're gonna call him, anyways, he is a freebie. So so yeah, don't worry if you if you uh, can summon him because I mean of course he'll be summonable in the near future, but as of now you can actually get him for I mean, as of now in China you could get him for free. I believe. So let's see what else have I not covered. I don't know that if there's anything else. Uh, let's see. I don't think anything going on in the floating run, but I might be wrong. Let me see. Uh so far nothing here. Okay. I don't see any any like uh you know the missions or something. No. It's not showing any of that. So that's telling me that nothing's going on there. But however, I am gonna take a look at the summoning page just so that way everyone can get can catch up to 
to speed. So this is a new banner here, which is uh, Languistar 4 and 5. The Cycle of Destiny. Give me one sec. Okay, sorry, just had to clear my throat because I've been talking a lot and it's stuffing my throat, which is uncomfortable. So anyways, this is week three. So we have like two more weeks to go until the next major update. So yeah, time flies already, huh? So we got the Language of 4 and 5 uh, switch, switch banner. So if, you, if you're missing any of these characters in the past, you can get them. So far for me, the only unit that I'm missing from this batch is Ricky. So yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get him because, you know, I don't usually use, uh, I, I mean, I never use Ricky, actually, because none of my accounts even have Ricky. Oh my. But uh, I do have everyone else aside him. So yeah, getting the second choice is going to be kind of rough. I mean, I could go something like this if I, if I need to, but... Most of the time, it's not practical because, you know, there's a good chance I'll get McLean instead of Ricky. So that's the worst case scenario because this is treated as a raid up banner. We got the language of 1, 2, and 3. This is still going to be active for one more week. So, yeah, if you're still missing those characters from language of 1, 2, and 3, uh, get right to it. Otherwise, you might miss your chance. And I myself won't, won't be summoning here on this one because I got everyone on this batch. So no, no worries for me there. Your last legends. Uh, this is new for this week, so this one has two weeks before it goes away. We also got the. We, we also have this banner still active for one more week. Uh, Aka and Sword of Line Shadow, or known as Zerida Two. If you if you still need Zerida Two, uh, this is your last chance of getting uh, getting Z Two. But you can still get her off banner, but. I'm just saying that the chance of getting her will be pretty low once she goes away. And then the reminder on the on the on the collab banner that we have here, uh, Shining Residence, this will go away in two weeks. So if you're still missing these two characters, try to get your get your trainees as much as possible and and resummon to, until you get both of them, if you choose to, because they're not going to be on the on the off banner pool. Once they're gone, they'll be gone for good until their their events get rerun which is uncertain to, at, to this point because i have not heard any banner reruns on the collapse especially trails of cold steel they have not announced that that, co that collab rerun just yet which i honestly a bit concerned because you know like going forward from here i'm afraid that some of the old class might not return that's the worst case scenario but i just hope that's not the case until then Hope you all find this video informative. I'm sorry I actually said some random stuff in the within this uh, video, but anyways, most of the stuff I said is probably like just something that I kind of I don't know what I say like kind of confusing to some of you, but I hope this is I hope this is fine. Anyways, see y'all later.